Take a seat. You make sure you weren't followed. Yes, sir. Thomas, do you know what proper communication is? I know I should have come to you first. You've just been so... It is the process of transferring information, meaning, and understanding from sender to receiver. Am I right? Yes, sir. Verbal communication consists of not only oral, but written communication as well. Am I right, Thomas? Yes, sir. We have spoken about this organization's goals. As a team we have agreed on the direction we want to go. This is why I made you general manager. Why have you gone off course? I'm sorry, sir. I now have a dead Peruvian official on my hands. Do you have any ideas how that might have happened? No, sir. Damn. Thomas. This organization is about honesty, morality, and ethics. You have the brains. But. David should have your job. You've lied to me for the last time. At this time I must do what is right for the team and the entire organization. I'm relieving you as general manager and of all other duties, Thomas. You have until week's end. I'm sorry, Thomas. But it was your wife, Sam. She was the whistleblower. How could you do this to me, to us? I'm sorry, Thomas, but you've lost touch with what's really important, being a part of a team. I guess you're right, dear. That was the greatest lesson I learned in Dr. Diasio's class, was how to be a part of a team. That's right, a team. A high degree of interdependent, coordinated interaction with a strong sense of members' personal responsibility for achieving specified group outcomes. I'm sorry, David. You are always the right man for this job. Your moral and ethical standards are just what we need to get back on track. Congratulations, and make me proud. Thank you, Mr. President. Come in, Leo. Many congratulations, sir. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Mr. General Manager. Ha 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 ha. Well, Leo, we did it the right way, ethically and... Yes, sir. And with a high sense of morality.